welcome to my channel my name is Maria also known as mindset and mascara and today I do not have a random fact for you no no I just don't have one <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of one later and then go damn it um, this look you would have already seen. Um, if you want to know how I got this look, I can post it up here in the cards. Here, here, here. One or the other. Anyway, so today we are going to be talking about my favorite colorful palettes. Now, some of these may surprise you. <laughs> and I could have swore I did a video like this before and I can't find it anywhere in there. And if I did it, it's an older um, video and my tastes have probably changed since then. I know when I first started doing YouTube <laughs> that you know, I really didn't know what good makeup was. <laughs> I have to admit, um, I started out, I honestly started out using MLM makeup okay because I did used to sell limelight don't anymore and it was back when it was limelight uh, I do not like MLMs so you know um so I wore a lot of limelight unique things like that then of course I started really digging into makeup and I started from the bottom up and here we are so it led me here where I absolutely love color and because I did used to wear very neutral looks. If I can find some, I'll put them up here. Uh, I didn't do makeup very well back then, but you know, we all do better. So um, yeah, if you want to hear my favorites, then let's get started. All right. First things first, um, me, myself, and Mama Mitchell. I love this palette. I love, love, love this palette, and Beauty Bay should bring it back. They do not sell this palette anymore, which is a travesty, um, mainly because he's coming out with his own palette, and it's got a warm tone side and a cool tone side. It's got every color under the sun that you can think about. Um, these little putty... Um, shades they are absolutely stunning look at that there it goes look at that that shift and then this pink one and that can't do that oh sorry let's let, let's do that again the pink one see i mix it with the blue <laughs> so the pink one and i think that's the only, I think there's only a couple of the putty shadows. Anyway, this is my first, let me get a, this is my first kind of delve into the Beauty Bay formula. So I had high hopes uh, when it comes to any of Beauty Bay's palettes. And some have disappointed me and some have not. Um, we won't get into that anymore. <laughs> I have been blasted before. So um, their, their formula, this formula is amazing. Um, I hear the, the two newer ones, the Horizon, which is uh, the like a sunset type. And then um, the other one, it's more of a blue palette um those I hear are excellent I have yet to buy them I want to buy them really badly but alas I am not going to I'm trying to stick with my low buy but yeah so so oh so my first one is the me myself and Mitchell palette oh they need to bring it back they really need to bring it back so um since we are on Beauty Bay, my next one is another Beauty Bay palette. It is the Bright Mattes. It has 
every color in the rainbow, light to dark. I mean, it's a complete matte palette, which I don't, I usually never go for. I don't like all matte palettes. I would love an all shimmer palettes, but I'm not a fan of all matte palettes, mainly because I want at least one shimmer in my palette, but honestly, this is probably one of the best rainbow palettes that I have used. I haven't used everything, but as you can see, I've used this black. I mean, look at this black. That is so dark. And then this purple is what I used in my um, look today, which is that one. And then they've got pink. And then a like true true red. This is more orangey red. But it looks gorgeous. And they blend out beautifully, exactly like Beauty Bay mattes. I'm used to Beauty Bay mattes um, blending out. So, um, sorry. I don't know why I'm faltering my words. Anyway, uh, they blend out exactly like Beauty Bay mattes should blend out. Um, and I really don't have any complaints about this. I don't use much of the top row except for the black because I always love blacks. And this, this black in here is great. The black in the Untamed palette is amazing as well, but it's nice to have one in a palette that I would use every day. I don't use the Untamed palette every day. This I would use every day. And it has a gigantic mirror. Let me not blind you. <laughs> so that is the Beauty Bay Bright Mattes palette. Um, I'm gonna go in with a older palette, but a really good palette which is the colored rain vivid pigments palette now they do still have this I heard that they changed the formula because um, this was out of stock for a long long time and you know I would always tell everybody go go get it go get it it's so great I mean the the colors are beautiful I mean look at that look how bright that is also um, Party Drip, which is this bright, bright pink, almost fluorescent color. And then another one of my favorites is Splash, which is orange. So yeah, I love this palette. Um, but from what I've heard is, I know that it was out of stock for a while. And I have, it's back in stock now. And people are saying that the formula has changed, which would be really, really sad if that was true. But um, if you would like, I am willing to purchase this palette again and uh, test it out and see if the formula has changed because I'm very, very curious about that because this is like one of the best kind of fluorescent rainbow palettes that I have and every it does have a mirror in it I don't know if the new one does but every uh this was I probably bought this a, I bought this a long time ago um I don't even know if it performs the same way <laughs> but I did uh buy this a long time ago I actually still grab to it grab to it I actually still grab from it um uh, when I really need like any of these colors in here because it's my favorite probably it was probably my most favorite palette um, that I liked but something has taken its place <laughs> as my favorite palette but this one does but it this one is really good but I will um, I will buy another palette and test it out against this one and uh, look, look forward to that in the future. Um, another one, it's a newer palette. It is the Juvia's Place Wahala palette. And 
La -da. This isn't, honestly, a lot of people would say this really isn't a rainbow palette. It does have all the colors in it. But the reason why I like it, and I've used these glitters, and these glitters are actually pretty good. Um, you do need a glitter glue with them. But what I love from this palette are these duochrome shades that they have in here. They've got like several of them. But there's two. I mean, those are gorgeous. And Juvia's Place Shadows. They've got one of the best shimmer shadow formulas ever. Um, I buy every Juvia's Place release. Um, some of the more neutral palettes, I don't have like the taupes and um, the nudes palette. I do not have, um, what else? I don't know, there's a couple of them that I don't have, but I did get the Royals palette and the glow palette so i'm looking forward to getting those and you would think that i wouldn't like a like a goldish color palette but i cannot wait i honestly cannot wait till i get those okay now we are coming to my two favorite palettes they have become my favorite palettes over time and I tend to gravitate towards these uh, they don't look very used but trust me I've used these a lot the first one is the be perfect cosmetics uh, carnival XL pro palette it looks like this I used to have the carnival palette and I was keeping that palette. Uh, there are some shades in here that are repeat, or there are, yeah, some shades in here that are repeats from that one, which is why I ended up decluttering it. I don't really use these um, highlights much. Uh, I've actually, I don't think I've ever used these highlights. A couple of them are just really too dark, and I don't know. I'm picky about my highlights, so I just don't gravitate towards those, but everything else I mean the the colors blend out beautifully the shimmers are beautiful I, I there there's nothing wrong with this palette I can't I can't say anything wrong with this palette I really can't um, <laughs> but I mean every color that you would need is in here and if it's not in here it will be in here this is the carnival 3 the love Tahiti palette and just, oh look at this one this is my favorite my my hands down favorite colorful palette and you can tell because i've used this several times there's like divots in a lot of these colors and it's just they blend out beautifully i don't have to do very much to them to blend them out and of course they've got these beautiful shimmer shades and you can just do like between this one and this one this one i think is more neutral than this one is um just by the looks of it but see just from these palettes if you are not a makeup collector if you don't really um use a lot of makeup and you're just looking for a like a palette or two to do everything honestly these two palettes would you would have every color that you would need um there's a black in the both of them. Um, I'm not fond of the blacks in these, <laughs> but they're still um, pigmented. They're just a little bit on the charcoal-y side, the gray side. Um, but other than that, I mean, everything else you would need is in these palettes. And I will put a couple of, I have a, a couple of tutorials that I've used with this palette that I will put up in the cards and my favorite row that I gravitate towards is this sunset Eero kind of oops here and also some of the greens because uh green's my favorite color so I use a lot of greens um except for today today is a purple day <laughs> um this is gonna be a very short video because that's it um i do have other rainbow palettes but i don't i don't 
I have a huge collection, okay? Not tooting my own horn. I mean, I just do. I'm a collector. I have decluttered a lot in my collection, but I have a lot of palettes, and I have a lot of palettes that I do not use. I have a lot of colorful palettes that I do not use, but I just can't get rid of them because I just can't. <laughs> um, mainly, the ones that I can't get rid of are colorful palettes. So... But these always stay in this bucket right here. This is my most used palettes. I have more palettes in the bookcase up here, but I don't use those much, almost at all. I do grab from them every now and then, but I don't really use them very much. It's mainly here that I pull from, and all of my Dear Katie Brown glitters are in there, and I will link my glitter video down below are up above I am very proud of my glitter collection I I love glitter and if you can't tell I'm wearing it today both in my inner corners and in the center of my eye so I mean that's where I keep oops that's where I keep all of my dear Katie Brown glitters and then every palette that I absolutely absolutely love and have to have right next to me is in there now I don't use all of them every day of course you can never use all of them every day but I do use them I grab from them more than I grab from there so you know be it what it may uh, this place is gonna be rearranged pretty soon so hopefully I'll have an office tour because I've, this is gonna be my salon in here and I've got to get it up to standards <laughs> in order for it to be that so um, hopefully I will have a office tour pretty soon and I don't know how I went from favorite colorful palettes to office tour but that's just a sign that it is ready it is pretty that's just a sign that it is time for me to go oh my gosh Anyway, so if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, then hit the subscribe button. I promise I am not this flaky, this flighty, this uh, falling all over my words. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. Anyway, until next time, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.